that's very close to all of us to do. We do need financial resources. Now, I just want to remind us uh, one of the cornerstone scriptures of this um, world, which is based on Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5. And it reads as follows, look among the nations and watch, be utterly astounded, for I will work a work in your days which you would not believe, though it were told to you. And therefore, I just want to encourage us as a Pastor Light, the visionary of this network, did encourage us, uh, exhorted us when we started that this scripture is being fulfilled in our generation. Now, you know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, the word of God says, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of men the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God Amen. has revealed them to us through his spirit, for the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. Now, I want us, brethren, to come as we, you know, move into this dimension of prayer about uh, the wealth for the redeemed to thank the Lord for his spirit. You know, I want us to thank which reveals the mysteries, which reveals the secret things that the Lord has prepared for us. Amen. Now, in Ephesians, uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17, Apostle Paul praying, he said, I pray that the God of my Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? Now, there are riches of glory of the inheritance of our Father in heaven in the saints. So now, let us now approach this throne during this midnight hour, thanking the Lord for the things that he has prepared for us. Now remember the Lord Jesus Christ is a mediator of a covenant that's based on better promises. And those promises are actually encapsulated in the complete work of the cross. So let us thank him for these good things that he has prepared for us. Now, one of them is that he took our poverty and he offers us his prosperity and abundance. So now as we move into this dimension of prayer about wealth in the kingdom of God, I want us to enter this gate of this wealth for the, for, for the redeemed, thanking him for the complete work at the cross. Now, please, brethren, I want you to unmute yourselves. Let's thank God for his spirit, which reveals the things that he has prepared for us. And let us thank him that he took our poverty and he offers us prosperity. He took our shame and he offers us a share of his glory. He took our rejection and offers us acceptance. Please let us unmute. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for the complete work at the cross. Your word says that I have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has it entered the heart of men, the things which you have prepared for those who love you. And so, Father, we are the redeemed. We are those that love you. And you will be proud that you reveal the things that you have prepared for us by your spirit. we are not supposed to be walking in shame and to offer us prosperity. You offer us abundance. And so we receive this word by faith. We took our shame. And we are not supposed to be walking in poverty. 
Amen. Please unmute sister. Unmute sister. Please unmute sister. Thank you so okay. much. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, um, I want us to go to uh, Psalm chapter 65. Verse one to two. Let's quickly go to Psalm chapter sixty-five. We have come to God who hears and answers prayer. You know, we've come to the Lord our God. He hears and answers prayer. Now, um, the word of God here says in Psalm chapter sixty-five. Um, Praise is awaiting you, O God, in Zion, and to you the vow shall be performed. All you who hear prayer, to you all flesh will come. And I want to read verse 5. By awesome deeds in righteousness, you will answer us. O God of our salvation, you who are the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of the far off seas. Let us register our names and call our names, you know, and say, Lord, here we are. We've come unto you according to your word. You flesh comes unto you. You are God that answers prayer. You never cause us to seek you in vain. Even as we present this matter of the transfer of wealth, of the wealth for the redeemed, we trust that indeed you are God that will answer us. And therefore we have come unto you tonight on this day, on this altar on this 24-hour prayer coming with petition with regard to the wealth for the redeemed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. So Father, we come before you during this season on you as you are aligning, as there is divine alignment, my Father. We believe that there is an alignment of wealth for the redeemed. We believe that there is wealth that you have prepared, my Father, for the redeemed. And we come unto you as Please unmute, sister. Please unmute. Please unmute. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thank you. Thank you, sister Nicole. Now, I want us to quickly go uh, to Job chapter. 28 verse 1 you know there are riches that have not yet been discovered so we're gonna be you know like uh, praying unto the lord let's quickly go to job um job chapter 28 verse 1 and it reads surely i'm just going to read a uh, job chapter 28 uh, verse 1 and verse 2 and verse 10. Surely there is a mine for silver and a place where gold is refined. 
iron is taken from the earth and copper is smelted from ore. He cuts out channels in the rocks and his eye sees every precious thing. Now, I want us to pray unto the Lord to give the church insight to accurately discern gold and silver that has not yet been discovered by any mortal man. The word of God here says that there is a mind for silver. Now we know that the whole earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. You know, he founded us. He founded the earth upon the waters. So now let us pray that as there is a mine for silver and a place where gold is refined, that he would cause the church the redeemed of the Lord to accurately discern the deposit of gold, the deposit of silver that has not yet been discovered by any mortal man from the foundation of the earth. And that he would cause us to take this gold and silver, you know, from the hand of the heathen to the church, to his ecclesia in order to build his kingdom. So let us pray, therefore, that Lord open our eyes, you know, open our eyes, open our eyes, cause us to accurately descend gold, cause us to accurately descend silver, the riches that have not yet been discovered that must come to the redeemed of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us unmute and pray, hallelujah. Uh, using uh, John chapter 28. Father, thank you for your word. According to your word, there is a mine of silver and a place where gold is refined. Iron is taken from the earth and copper is melted from the earth. And then, oh, Father, we present this matter and we ask that you would give insight to the mighty heart of the Lord to accurately descend the deposit of gold, the deposit of the riches, the deposit of silver that has not yet been discovered by any mortal man from the foundation of the earth. We ask that you would cause the redeemed to give us an insight, give us an revelation, so that all our God would invent, so that we would discover where these are hidden to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and we ask that Lord, you would order us therefore accordingly and help us to unearth to unleash these deposits of gold, these deposits of silver for the glorification of your name. And Father, in verse 10, you say you cut out tunnels in the rocks, and his eye sees every precious thing. So Therefore, Lord, we ask that you would cause us to get this silver even from among rocks, among very, very hard places, wherever these deposits of gold, wherever these deposits of riches are hidden. We ask, Lord, that you would help us to see them, to open our eyes, anoint our eyes, open our eyes, my Father, spiritual eyes, physical eyes. So so that, oh Lord, our God, we would be able to discern even in the hard rock, in the very difficult places, that we would be able to get his riches and as the redeemed of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, I want us to go to Isaiah chapter, chapter 45. In Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah chapter 45, Isaiah chapter 45, uh, verse 1 to 3. Um, uh, thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held, to subdue nations before him and loose the armor of kings, to open before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut. I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness 
and hidden riches of secret places, that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by the name, by your name, am the God of Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want, you know, the Lord says that he will go before us. He will give us treasures of darkness, riches that are in secret places. Now, I want us, brethren, to pray for the New Testament Cyrus. You know, now, you know, uh, as, um, I call, uh, as, Dr., uh, as the man of God that led the prayer before us, he said, even when it comes to the vaccine, it has to be imported. Okay, he was praying about Africa, but now we know when it comes to the vaccine, it's not, it's like, we don't yet get the glory as the Church of Christ to invent some of the solutions for the world. When it comes to Microsoft, it, the glory is not given to, you know, like to the redeemed of the Lord. Now, when it comes to broadband, when it comes to ICT, when it comes to vaccines, you know, it's like uh, the Church of Christ we don't, we have not reached a stage where it is said, wow, look at this invention, look at this solution that is helping us solve the problems of our generation, and it is bringing billions of rents. It, that is not ascribed to the church. It is not ascribed to the redeemed. We hear that, oh no, that's Freemason. Oh no, they're in the Illuminati. They group and gang themselves in order for you to penetrate and to go anywhere. You have to belong to that occult. Now, I want us to pray for the change of, you know, like for the change of the season. I want us to pray and to say, Lord, we ask that raise the New Testament Cyruses. You know, he said he would cut bars of iron. I will give you treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by name, am your God, am the God of the redeemed church of Christ. So let us pray for the New Testament Cyruses and hold their hands to subdue kingdoms and nations. You know, somewhere in Jeremiah, the scripture says, I have set you over the nations and kingdoms to root out and pull down, to destroy and throw down and to build and to plant. And therefore, I want us to pray for the New Testament Cyrus is that the Lord would use them to subdue kingdoms and nations before them and break open the gates of brass and bars of iron to deliver into their hands treasures of darkness. We want to petition the Lord during this time of prayer that he would deliver to the New Testament Cyruses treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places in the mighty name of Jesus, those that have never been accessible to any man from the foundation of the earth to the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us unmute ourselves and pray so that the church of Christ will be seen to be providing solutions. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, during the, 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 the Old Testament, you raised Cyrus and you, you held his right hand and you caused him to do nations before him and to lose the armor of kings and to make the crooked places straight. Yes. You promised that you brought in pieces of gates of bronze and you would give him treasures of darkness. Now, Father, we are petitioning you for the New Testament church. We ask that you raise New Testament Cyrus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Raise them, O oh Lord. Father, you have promised God that you have set us all the nations and kingdoms to run out to people to destroy, to throw down, and to build and to plant. Oh Lord, our God, we ask that you raise the new testament 
judgment um, that caused men from all nations to of the earth to come and hear his wisdom. So I'm just going to quickly read 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 28. 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 28. Hallelujah. Um, now, and all Israel, we know the story. We know about the two women. This one said, no, you slept, you took my child. No, I didn't, you did this. And then they decided to go to Solomon, to Solomon, to King Solomon for judgment. And um, so, uh, and the King Solomon, you know, he ruled uh, with justice because he was a man who had prayed for wisdom and God had promised to give him wisdom. And now it says here, and all Israel heard of the judgment which the king had rendered and they feared the king for they saw that the wisdom of God was in him to administer justice. Amen. So I want, uh, uh, and I mean, like we know about the queen of Sheba who actually went to, you know, like to Solomon with gold, with precious spices, with silver, with all manner of wealth, you know. Now the Bible tells us that wisdom is the principal thing 
and wisdom is evidenced by her children. Now, brethren, we are still praying for the wealth in the hands of the redeemed. Now, the Bible tells us that by wisdom, a house is built, by understanding, it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with precious and pleasant riches. Hallelujah. So now, I want us to pray and... Um, because okay i'm just left with four minutes we go we're going to pray that the lord to raise the solomons of our generation so now because you see yeah, also in first kings chapter 4 verse 34 uh, and men of all nations from all kings of the earth who had heard of his wisdom, came to hear the wisdom of Solomon. So um, now we're going to pray that the Lord to raise Solomon's of our generations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and uh, to provide understanding and answers to critical questions and of our lives and to and bring solutions to global problems now this has to come from the redeemed because the bible tells us that we have the mind of christ and the wisdom of god and it tells us that the things that the lord has prepared for us are descend by the spirit by the holy spirit so the time has come for us to br to to bring solutions to global problems you know, whether it's in the area of technology or whether it is in politics, in justice, in every area that will cause people, that will cause presidents, that will cause, you know, like billionaires to come to the church and to actually say, you know, like you provide so much wisdom, help us with this. You know, it's important that the church takes the center stage in terms of providing the wisdom. I think it's somewhere, is it, um, it's in Psalm, it's in Psalms where it says, it shall come to pass that during the latter days, the mountain of the house of the Lord will be established upon all mountains and everybody will say, will stream, you know, like people will stream into the house of the Lord. They will be streaming into the house of the Lord because of the wisdom that will be displayed in the house of the Lord. And as they are streaming, they are bringing wealth, as they are streaming, Streaming, they are bringing billions, and that way the church then, you know, there is a transfer of wealth into the coffers of the church of the redeemed. So let us pray, therefore, for the wisdom that the Lord would give us wisdom. He gave this wisdom to Solomon that he would raise the Solomons of this generation who will provide solutions, who will provide wise counsel in all the different spheres of our lives and that the presidents the people you know like will come will stream with their billions for these solutions in the mighty name of jesus christ please let us unmute ourselves and pray for the wisdom to be in the house of the lord amen father in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we are praying we are supplicating my father that you would raise the solomons of our generation in the mighty name of jesus Father, uh, wisdom is the principal thing, and wisdom is evidenced by your children. And therefore, we ask that you would raise the Solomons and give them wisdom, give them understanding, give them a discerning heart, the very heart that you gave to Solomon in the mighty name of Jesus to provide solutions, my Father, to global problems. The time has come for the Church of Christ to provide solutions to the global problems in the mighty name of Jesus that the church of Christ will provide a solutions to integrity. It will provide in a health that the church will provide a solution to every Global. 
Therefore, will be used to advance the kingdom of God to the glory of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.